Hello and welcome, my name is Jay Riviera and we're back with more Invisible Ink. Uh, first off, I will apologise if you do hear any background noise because it's three days after bonfire night but people are blasting fireworks out over the backyard. So you may catch a couple of fireworks in the audio. But I'm starting to actually worry about this playthrough with only having two agents and <clears throat> they're not really that equipped. Shale, I'm going to shoot anybody who wants this. Oh, accelerator chip. We looked at that last time. Um, we've got the EMP, which will come in handy, probably. She's got some spare ammo, just in case he needs it. Actually, what we'll do is we'll go and we'll... We will sell that spare ammo. I don't think I'm going to need it. We'll just hold on to this 1,000 credits. Extremely guarded nanofab. I would kind of like to hit up a... Oh, detention center that looks quite nice. Right, I've got a security dispatch here. So maybe... Nanofab? Head down to the detention center. What we've got down here? Vault. Right, we've got 19 hours remaining. But I would kind of like to make my way over to this security dispatch. Unless we miss out the Nanofab, go for the... No, we've got to hit the Nanofab. And I'm going to take any weapon I can, really, because if we do get another agent, come in handy. So let's get this started. So here we've got three objectives. Hit them safes, hit that nanofab, and find the elevator. Have a little peek around this corner here. Got a locked door there. Right, and we've got a door around the back. We'll just have you run straight out. <coughs> and have a peek up there. Right, we've got nothing up there, so at least we know we're all we're both going in the same direction. What we'll do is we'll have Shalem just have a peek through here just to see if he can see anything. Even though we can't get through that door, <clears throat> it gives her a direction to head if he can. We should be safe standing like this because if a guard comes through the door, he can only look at one of her and the other one can come and knock him out. So let's end the turn there. We'll have Shalem take point. Actually, what we'll do after seeing that console pop with fusion. What we've got here? Console database. Not too worried about that. Right, we have quite a hectic room here. We'll drop a parasite on the power of that turret. Don't really need to shut this door, but we will anyway. <clears throat> and we'll just have her on melee, just in case. <coughs> Sorry about that. Right, we've got perif peripheral vision guard here. Oh no, it's just heavy armor too. Right, so we'll spend the three power to tag the invisible guards. I actually quite like this um, this wisp. It seems like quite a decent aim. Um, sorry, I'm saying aim a lot. Quite a decent incognito program. Right, we'll just observe these paths. 
stationary and stationary. That's not great. And that guards heavy armor too as well, so the only way that we would be able to get it is if we shot him. Because Shalem's rifle has armor piercing level 1 and then his enhanced optic allows him to have armor piercing level 2. Which may actually save life later on in this playthrough. But for now, we're kind of stuck here. So we're going to end the turn. And that should take that turret down, so... What else we got in here? Right, we have our co well, we'll have one of our corporate safes. We'll just take that power supply with lockpick there. And I believe we should be safe to stand here. Because this guard won't see where... This guard may see where, actually. It's going to be very tricky to get through this room. Can't really hack that camera drone either. Right, but we'll open this door, grab that guard's attention, and head behind the console. And I'm actually going to risk it. And head into the corner here, hoping that this guard doesn't see where. If he does, then we're going to have to have international come and help, really. So let's just end the turn there and hope for the best, really. Great, awesome, he didn't see where. Right, and how far does this EMP go? Doesn't actually show where. Okay. Right, we've got all the corporate safes here, so what we're going to do is we're going to stick a parasite on two of them. And we're just going to take one with lockpick. Should have really stolen from this guard as we came past, but it's not really th nothing we can do about that now.
But we will steal all of this god's monies. We'll take that pass card as well. That'll come in handy to get through this room. Because we can just bypass it there. Right, we're deciding not to take that safe. Oh, no. Right. Take that straight down with dagger. And we will lockpick this safe. Right, let's start collecting with spoils. All these safes are going to start being unlocked. Right, we've got a normal, normal nanofab there. Might be worth checking that out. I like the fact that they've had that little red zone to which way the camera drone is pointing. That's pretty awesome. By the looks of things as well, we've got more gods in this room. Jesus Christ, how the hell are we going to get that nanofab? In theory, we can move from here to here. We're moving from a hidden to a hidden. Awesome. Make sure we keep popping that fusion. We nearly ran out of power there. Jesus, this is a tricky mission, this one, though. And what we'll do is we'll stick a parasite on that. It's probably going to be the quickest way. But what this does mean is, with the guards being here and here, we can expect not to have too many guards on the rest of the level. Just shut that door for now. Head up and pick this safe up. Then we'll pick these two up and then try to head into this doorway, see what's there. I think we can manoeuvre Shalem around here to keep out of the enemy's sight. <coughs> Should be safe standing in the open there. Right, we've got an elevator here, that's good. And you know what, we've kind of found all the safes. 
We've found what elevator. And we've found banana fab. So really, in all, we've already found all of our objectives. We're only nearly halfway through level one. So at first this mission really did actually, it actually scared us when I opened some of these doors, but... That's one of the better demons, like... The intelligence... I'm not too bothered. If it does annoy you that I don't pick up the intelligence, just drop a message in the comments and I will I'll make sure that I pick it up. Right, we're safe to stand here. Let's check out this nanofab. I think we're going to be forced to take this Neural Disruptor 2 and I think I'm going to buy a Neural Disruptor 1 as well, maybe. Well, I'll definitely be taking that. I'll kind of drop it. Right, but first what we'll do is we shall open this door for Shalem to get through and then we'll drop the pass card and come back and pick up whatever say no time like the present to pop with stim Start maneuvering way back around this cover. Can she get that from here? Oh yeah, we'll take that. Right, but we're going to have to end the turn there. Actually, we might have her come up and pick. Now nah, we don't. As long as we keep remembering to pop with fusion, we should be fine. Just drop this for now. And we'll end the turn there. Right, a nice five power down with... Alright, it's only one alarm level, that's absolutely fine. Nice five power down with dagger. We're not in a hurry, we may as well pick this up. The amount of stationary guards on this level was, well, it's only only three really, a camera drone, two armoured guards, but I'm not complaining because they were all in the same area and they were quite easy to bypass really. No, I'm not going to check that out because there's a guard room there. We'll 
we'll take that neural disruptor too. What am I saying? We've got that neural disruptor there. Right, that's fine. We don't need to buy another one. Cloak and rig would be nice. But I don't like the cloak and rig level 2. I prefer the cloak and rig level 3 that can turn the whole team invisible instead of just that agent. That would come in handy with Shalem. And none of these are any good. Um, <clears throat> they're all the same, but... I kind of want Shalem to have the perk that allows him to kill people and not raise the alarm. That is hugely important for Shalem. But it doesn't look like we're going to get him, get it on this playthrough. I think I'm going to sell that paralyzer as well, and I don't know. I'll have I'll have another look in the shop. I may buy the neural disruptor, sell Shalem's because his is useless with five turn cooldown. Right, where are they? Where are these gods? I was thinking about stealing from them, but I don't think I'm going to. Have I still got me AP down? No. If Shalem had a stim, I would do it. And I'm kind of thinking this may just be a guard room. We'll wait for Shalem to decide what we're going to do with that, if we're going to go through that way. Because if it's a camera, that's fine. But if it's an armored god, we're screwed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for Shalem to get here. And if it's an armored god, just straight in the elevator. So sell that and sell that. I may pick that up for Shalem. Yeah, we'll take that. And a neural disruptor. <coughs> right, I'm feeling a lot better about how how equipped we are now. Warning. Additional guard Is that guard spawned up in this one? Yep, awesome. We'll have international open this door. Cool, we've got a dagger ready, so pop that down. We may as well go investigate a little. It's not a nice room. Do you know what we found? What seems like 
all the safes. There might be another big safe on this level. Oh, why didn't I investigate there? Shit balls. Do you know what? I'm happy with what I've got from this level so far. So we'll just extract next turn. This combina this team combination is not a very strong one. International and Shalem. They just don't seem to fit together. You know, in National and Tony would be amazing. <clears throat> Maybe Shalem and Nika as well, you know, go full, full attack. Well, actually, in National isn't even that, that good with Tony because in National makes power, Tony saves power. So what's the point in that? Unless you're going like really power heavy. Right, and I think we're ready to head down to that detention centre next time. Any heavy armour guards we're going to have to take out with Shalem. Because we only have armour level 1 at the minute. Just really annoys us. We'll leave that on her in case we do actually find a <clears throat> find an agent and we can give it it. Give it to the agent. Right, but thank you for watching. Please do drop a like or a comment if you did enjoy the episode. And stay hidden, and I'll see you next time. Cheers, bye.